Since 1986, Sirius Observatories have been manufacturing quality observatories in maintenance-free, high-strength marine-grade fiberglass. Each observatory is pre-assembled and made fully operational at our manufacturing plant prior to shipping. We can supply a dome and mounting ring only, or a complete observatory with dome and walls in 2.3, 3.5 or 6.7 metre diameters. A fully motorised dome and shutter can be supplied, however, on the manual model, dome rotation is only a one finger operation. Optional storage lockers, in the form of wall panels with a recess, can be provided to accommodate cameras, computers and other bulky items. With the manually operated observatory, we supply a horn cleat, urethane stopper block and pulley. The shutter opening cord is attached to the upper shutter. To mount the upper shutter, rotate the dome until the shutter opening is opposite the door. Place the upper shutter in the doorway with the marker arrow pointing upwards. Slip the upper wheels onto the external track. Lift the shutter. Note the marker arrow. Place the lower wheels onto the track and roll the shutter to the top of the dome. Mount the urethane stopper block to the outside of the dome with the flat edge uppermost. Mount the pulley wheel to the left of the stopper block. Unwind the shutter opening cord and feed the end from left to right through the pulley. Run the cord up to the top of the dome and feed it into the central hole in the shutter. With the cord now inside the dome, feed it down over the rightmost pulley wheel. Allowing for plenty of slack in the cord, feed it back up over the leftmost pulley wheel and back out through the hole behind the leftmost pulley wheel. From outside the dome, tie a knot in the end of the shutter opening cord. Pull the shutter opening cord to operate the upper shutter. Finally, attach the horn cleat to the bottom of the dome flange. We have chosen to build the Sirius observatories with the same gel coats and marine grade fiberglass as used in ocean going yachts. Return flanges, dome panels, walls, door and shutters have been additionally strengthened. Structural certification has been obtained for each observatory model. With worldwide sales in more than a dozen countries, 
door-to-door -door palleting and shipping of your observatory can easily be arranged. Mind you, not all observatories arrive palleted inside a shipping container. This owner collected his 3.5 metre observatory from the factory and arranged his own delivery on a standard box trailer. Once on site, assembly proceeds in a logical sequence. Lay out the dome panels, lay out the wall panels, Each observatory is supplied with a detailed instruction manual. Engineer's drawings can also be supplied. All fittings and fasteners are supplied. Individually packaged and labelled. A second person is helpful when joining the first two dome panels. From that point on, Dome assembly can be completed by one person. Basic hand tools are all that are required to assemble the observatory. The upper shutter motor comes factory installed on the centre dome panel. Likewise, the lower shutter motor comes attached to the appropriate dome panel as well. The upper shutter is installed by fitting the lower wheels to the external track, rolling the shutter up over the dome, and then engaging the upper wheels onto the track. The dome rotation wheels are placed onto the pre-installed wheel bearings and fastened with the supplied washer and screw. The internal spreader bar is then bolted to the leading edge of the upper shutter. As with the dome, apart from the installation of the first bolt, wall assembly requires only one person. All bolt holes are pre-drilled at the factory. When assembling the wall panels, do not fully tighten the bolts until all panels are in place. Then, begin tightening the bolts from the top down, making sure that the flanges on which the wheels run are horizontally aligned. Once the walls have been assembled, the dome can be lifted into place.
Lifting bolts are supplied with all domes. However, if a crane is unavailable, two people can lift the 2.3 metre dome. We recommend at least six people lift the 3.5 metre dome, as shown here. With the dome sitting on the walls, rotate it several times to trim the walls into a circular shape. The lower shutter can now be lifted into place and rested on the hinge blocks whilst the hinge bolts are installed. The internal fit-out of the observatory commences with the installation of the laser-cut dome drive track. Track sections are numbered to ensure correct positioning. Whilst the drive track sections are being installed, the lower shutter motor, push rod and return tension spring can be mounted. The wall joints are now covered with the vertical trims. Again, these are numbered and pre-drilled. The dome wheel cover strip is now attached to the top of the walls. This strip not only prevents fingers from touching the wheels, but also prevents the dome from lifting in extreme wind conditions. With the cover strip in place, the vertical trims are fastened to the lower wall flange. The drive gear is engaged with the tooth track and the drive motor housing is aligned with the mounting holes and bolted into place. The external solar panel brackets are fixed to the wall and dome, the wires are fed into the observatory and the solar panels are clipped into place. Using a battery driven telescope, mains power is not required to operate the Sirius observatory. In the event of a power blackout, the dome can still be rotated and shutters closed. Following the instructions in the manual, connect the solar power. If purchased, mount the Auto Dome Home Sensor. Install and connect the 12 volt battery. To assist with smooth operation of the shutters and dome drive, lubricate the tracks with a supplied lubricant. When the dome is rotating smoothly, drill bolt holes through the flange at the bottom of each wall. Should your concrete slab be uneven, spaces can be placed beneath the flange. Insert and tighten the appropriate fastener.
Seal all external holes and the bottom of the walls with the recommended sealant. All adjoining fiberglass panels are fitted with weather seals at the factory, as is the external wheel track flange and door opening. We are continually improving our product, often through customer recommendations, such as our ATS Autodome system and our automated rain detection and shutter closure mechanism. Our clients not only include amateur astronomers, our observatories have met the exacting requirements and specifications of tourist resorts, schools, universities, government instrumentalities and the military. Please visit our website or contact us via phone or email should you require any further information. We hope that you have enjoyed this presentation from Sirius Observatories.